So I've got my ordered data here and this has just been set up as an Excel table and I've created this pivot table here. So you can download this spreadsheet, links in the description, no details required, anything like that, straight down on your PC so you can work along. So conditional formatting. Let's say we want all the profit heat mapped, which I, I think is a good idea. We just click on one profit cell, a bit like we did for number for formatting really. I'm gonna go up here, and uh, I'm gonna pick this sort of green and red one here. And of course that's just gonna do that cell. And we get this little formatting options here next to it. And you'll see, we can say we want anything with a profit in it. And if we do that, the downside of that is it includes all our grand totals and makes everything look poor. So almost always we'll want this one, which is the intercept. And in this case, it's for customer segment and order date, just the numbers, doesn't include any of the subtotals. If you go in and have a look at editing the rule, you'll see the midpoint is a percentage. And it might be, if you're looking at a profit number, I think it's much more useful to have it going red below zero and green above. So we shall change that. So say we want to have another heat map now across the column of the grand total. So we want to be able to see, you know, which is the most, most profitable grand total within the column. So this, this current heat map showing us sort of within the kind of months, isn't it? So we could sort of highlight this and then maybe say, hold control and hit profit. But you can see from doing that, it's also highlighting the subtotals and indeed as well the grand total profit so we don't want that included in our heat map so what we need to do is go to the design and we'll take off the subtotals now you would think logic would tell me anyway that i could also take off the grand totals and that would prevent them being applied the conditional formatting being applied but for whatever reason it doesn't work. It's one of those quirks, call it a bug if you like, in Excel pivot tables, certainly this one I'm trying. So anyway, I've taken off my subtotals. I can now highlight the cross section. So hold down control, hit it again. Now I've got all my profit figures highlighted there. I can apply my conditional formatting. I'm gonna apply this one, which is wrong incidentally. I'll show you how to correct it later. And then of course that has now applied to the grand total. So I'm gonna go in, manage the rule, and I'm gonna, and this is tricky in here because I've gotta scroll all the way to the far right and just knock out that last little one there on the end, which is the grand total and apply it, which takes it off the grand total. Hit okay. So I now have this and then go back and put on my subtotals. And lo and behold, they are now excluded from the heat map. And so is that grand total. And that will withstand a refresh as well. This has got something wrong. So we're, we're showing more profitable numbers as red. So what we need to do is go in and modify this and change the colors around. So if I go to manage rules, now once you've set a color school, this color scheme there, you go to edit the rule. The annoying thing is that this red and this green are by default not included in your color palette. So the way you have to do it, I've got them here, but you'll see how I got them here, is I clicked on more colors and I copied that and hit okay and that makes it then appear in the color palette. So if I demonstrate with this one, it's not there at the moment. More colors, I'll copy that, hit OK. And now when I go down here, it appears. So it's easy for me to just swap that to red and swap that to green. And while I'm here, I'm gonna change it to a number zero and hit OK and hit apply. 
And what will that will do is everything should be roughly green, but our, any losses will now stand out in red or orange, which they do. Hope those tips were useful. If you want more, check out my playlist on pivot table tips. And of course, download that spreadsheet if you want all of the examples. And remember, subscribe to my channel. See you soon.